Now at Tokamak Energy, we're building the ST40. ST40 is going to be the world's first high field spherical Tokamak. Previous experiments such as MAST and NSTX have indicated that high field might allow you to get a much better performance in a spherical Tokamak compared to a conventional Tokamak. So SD40 will be the first kind of test of this scaling. So the first milestone we're hoping to achieve on SD40 is 15 million degrees. So that's the temperature of the sun. So that's still relatively cold in fusion terms, but it's where things start to get interesting. And then from then on, we're looking to push up to 100 million degrees where fusion can actually start to occur. So 100 million degrees is sort of the threshold for where fusion starts to become economically viable. So you can go higher to maybe 150 million but around 100 is sort of the point where it starts to become really exciting. First thing is to prove the merging compression startup technique. So merging compression is a really efficient way of releasing energy, so it releases magnetic energy. So it's the same process that powers sort of solar corona in the sun. So there's a lot of energy held in the magnetic field. So if we can release just a small fraction of that, we can actually get to very high temperatures straight away. So merging compression allows us to get to potentially the 100 million degrees very quickly. So normally in a tokamak you have to sort of start the plasma up and then slowly increase the temperature up to your target temperature. But with merging compression we might be able to get straight to those fusion relevant conditions where fusion can actually start to occur. There's lots of research we can do other than looking at the confinement. We can look at the stability of the plasma, we can look at the diverter which is where the heat comes out. That's another kind of big unknown area in spherical tokamaks because they're a bit smaller you've got less space to deal with all your excess heat, your exhaust, so that's a challenging area in spherical Tokamax. So on SD40 we're hoping to kind of try some novel ideas out and see if they're relevant for a reactor. So the main innovations in SD40 are kind of really pushing the limits of merging compression and demonstrating the high field in a spherical Tokamax. So they're the two most novel things at the moment and then because it's quite a small adaptable machine we hope to go on to test newer novel things such as lithium diverters or novel ways of heating the plasma and plasma control and because it's a kind of small tokamak, we can easily adapt it to try these new things. So the scientific importance is that it will kind of be the first tokamak to demonstrate or prove the ST route to fusion power. So there's a lot of designs for spherical tokamak power plants and some of them kind of rely on this improved performance in the spherical tokamak, but no one's really been able to demonstrate it kind of outside of the regime of current tokamaks. So SD40 will be the first machine to hopefully do this.